arrested Iranian agent in the U.S. is the tip of the iceberg. An Iranian regime agent posing as an independent political scientist in the U.S. was arrested, according to a statement by the U.S. Justice Department on January 19th. A criminal complaint was unsealed today in federal court in Brooklyn, charging Kaveh Lutfullah Afrasiabi with acting and conspiring to act as an unregistered agent of the government of the Islamic Republic of Iran in violation of the Foreign Agents Registration Act (FARA). The statement reads in part. For over a decade, Afrasiabi pitched himself to Congress, journalists, and the American public as a neutral and objective expert on Iran, Assistant Attorney General for National Security John C. Demers said. However, all the while, Afrasiabi was actually a secret employee of the government of Iran and the permanent mission of the Islamic Republic of Iran to the United Nations (IMUN), who was being paid to spread their propaganda. Demers added, while Afrasiabi had penned numerous articles and had been interviewed by several top tier publications and news broadcasters, he had never declared that he had used his position to spread Tehran's propaganda. Acting U.S. Attorney Seth Ducharme said, Afra Siabi allegedly sought to influence the American public and American policymakers for the benefit of his employer, the Iranian government, by disguising propaganda as objective policy analysis and expertise. Interestingly, Afrasiabi has frequently posed for photographs with high-profile regime officials such as former President Mohammad Khatami, current Foreign Minister Javad Zarif, and Mahmoud Vaizi, the chief of staff of current regime President Hassan Rouhani. This is a privilege that is only offered to Iranian expats who are cozy and friendly with the Iranian regime. Among Afrasiabi's key missions was to promote the appeasement policy with the Iranian regime. Afrasiabi is also closely tied with the Iranian regime's known lobbyists in the U.S., including Princeton professor Hossein Musavian, the regime's former ambassador to Germany. Previously, in 2009, Afrasiabi attended an event hosted by the Iranian regime's mission at the United Nations and criticized media coverage of the regime's brutal crackdown on nationwide protests. Afrasiabi was also closely tied to the National Iranian American Council (NIAC), a known and disgraced lobby of the Iranian regime in the U.S. Afrasiabi was also actively involved in demonizing and discrediting the People's Mujahideen Organization of Iran (PMOIMEK) and the National Council of Resistance of Iran (NCRI) through his channels in Western media. In an article in the Columbia University's Journal of International Affairs in 2019, Afrasiabi described the MEK as a fringe group and reiterated his support for appeasing the regime. According to the Justice Department statement, since at least 2007 to the present, Afrasiabi has also been secretly employed by the Iranian government and paid by Iranian diplomats assigned to the permanent mission of the IMUN. Afrasiabi has been paid approximately $265,000 in checks drawn on the IMUN's official bank account since 2007, and has received health insurance through the IMUN's employee health benefit plans since at least 2011. While Afrasiabi awaits trial, it should be noted that his case is not an isolated one. Over decades, the Iranian regime has spent the Iranian people's wealth and resources to implant many such agents in the U.S. and Europe. These individuals pose as journalists, experts, and sometimes regime opponents, while in reality they push the regime's agenda against the Iranian resistance and a firm policy toward a regime. Afrasiabi's case is a cautionary tale for all politicians and media to think twice before heeding the words of so-called experts who openly endorse a terrorist regime whose hands are drenched in the bloods of millions of innocents across the globe. A political scientist and author from Watertown is accused of secretly working for the Iranian government while here in Massachusetts. The FBI says Kava Afrasiabi was paid to lobby U.S. officials, including a congressman, to advance ideas that benefited Iran.